welcome to seeing that handy. Um, please like and subscribe my channel. Um, hit that bell. You get more updates on my uh, camper trailer. This is. Hey YouTube, thanks for uh, taking this video on my top reasons why I chose a cargo trailer camper conversion. So before I get started, I just want to do a couple of shout outs. One to my friend Barry. He has inspired me since I've known him for three and a half years. Um, just try to be more self-sustaining and also to live on your own and to provide for yourself. Um, he's, I want to just have you up here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. In the middle, to the left, or the right. It'll be a big circle with a B. Probably at the end of the video, I think. But it'll be, that's his channel. Click and like his subscribe. He has more videos there. Um, extreme budget, and that's Barry. And another shout out is a person who have I've seen a couple times. I saw his video similar to this video. Um, that his channel. I don't know his name. Don't know him personally. Um, but his video is my top reasons why I chose a cargo trailer. Um, his channel is called RV R Cheap RV Living. I'll put his link in the description or in my up here somewhere. Um, but anyways, my top reasons why I chose top chose a cargo trailer. One, I can custom make this whatever I want. Simple, nothing to it. Um, as you can tell, I've kind of it had a platform um, where it, there was a big old platform. I'm basically had to cut out some and chop it out because I want to walk in here. I want to move. I can't stand up completely, but that's okay. It's an eight foot long trailer. I can sleep in it and do whatever I want. But the reason why I wanted a custom compared to an RV, which is already set, you can't rearrange it unless you really want to have the hassle of doing so. It has a, a clean slate to it. You can do whatever you want. Make it look like a, a Barbie house if you really wanted to. Do whatever you want. That simple. And you can decide which kind of materials you want to put in it. And it, and it can be cheaper. Number two, movability. This thing is super light. I'll discuss that in a moment. But I can move this real quick with two people if I need to back it in somewhere else or move it around. And it's easy. I'll show you that in a moment. Number three, emergency and temporary living space. If something happens to your house, um, like construction or uh, anything, a fire, and you only have a, your land to live, but you have this trailer, and your house is gone, at least you have this to survive in and make a living or do whatever you need to do. You know, for me, I saw this and I was like, hey, you know, I work around all over the place. I want something I can sleep in. I'm not living this in the moment because I'm, I'm putting this all together and rearranging it piece by piece. Um, number four, price to compare to a crappy old camper, you know, RV camper trailers. Those things, I lived in one. Uh, this past year for like the winter, the end of winter to spring in Washington and it was somebody else's and I just lived there because it was cheap I lived on a little fold out couch and it was an 87 Prowler and it was horrible. I mean he, he bought it because he needed a place real quick but the point is you know the things were wrong with it you don't know what it, like you gotta go in there and fix it and if you break something you gotta buy another part and repair it. It just it just seems a hassle. I'd rather I have more joy and desire on building what I want to do it. This is what I want and it's easy and it's you know and you don't have to spend so much in repairs on those old things. And honestly there's no insulation in there. You have to add more insulation. You those things you buy you you buy approximately about he bought that thing it was like 16 foot long and it was I think it was about 2500 and but him and his dad they had to put repairs into it this I put I paid 16 for it and 
know, I, I'm, I'm putting what I want it slowly but surely for what I want. Like this little sliding that I'm going to put on my edges, it's a buck each. Or this, or this stain on my countertops, I found it in the garage. And I'm going to make this more simple. I'm going to have a dry sink. It's easy to fix and it's cheap. I'm not going to have a fancy countertop or anything like that, but something I can live in for the time being and it's cheap. Five, rough roads. You can take this into the back country. You can take it on dirt roads. It's a single axle. It does great, and you know it can take that that um that roughness on those roads. Those long camper trailer RV trailers. Yeah, I just don't trust them. The products in those and the materials. The the people that make those. They're doing it for business. They're to screw you for this. And there's nothing wrong with making money, but they're trying to find the idea of business is find something cheap so you can put it in there and flip it and sell it for really do 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 money. You know, it's cheap, nice looking products. You know, I, I'm not like, I'm not playing that route. Um, number six, the weight. I kind of mentioned that earlier. This is my buddy. I towed it down for me from Utah. It approximately weighed about 950, but that was with probably about 100 to 150 of storage in here. So that was, so you think about it, this is probably about 750, 800, just the trailer. So it's it's light. I can, I'll show you in a moment, but I slide this pipe through that somebody else put it onto it. This guy built this custom made um, for camping and cooking. It was kind of cool. But um, so he can slide this pipe through by the hitch, and and uh, he can move it with two people, and it's super duper light, you know. Um, 800 pounds is not that heavy, or 700, 750, but that's nice. It's lightweight. It's not heavy like 16 foot long gooseneck trailer or something like that. I mean, unless you have a family, this is like you probably can put two people in here. But anyways, number seven. I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna put it down to. I'll, I'll change that to uh, to 10 because I want to be that last. But number seven, storage space. This is nice. The past year, I had this for in, in Utah when I went to school. I had it. I couldn't take everything with me, so I left it on somebody's property. They were okay with it. It was out of their way. It was small. I packed this stuff. Packed it from the floor down to the top, and it was covered. I didn't have to pay. Um, storage fees, I already bought the trailer, it's great. I'm going to probably keep this for the long haul. And it has, that's awesome. Number eight, fixable. Like I mentioned, if you design this how you want, you know how to fix it. I'm keeping this simple. Don't make it complex. Make it simple. Yeah, I know you see a lot of these videos out there that make it nice and fancy dancy, but if you're not a super handy person in construction and interior design, well, interior design's not too hard. Oh, there is some catch to it. But interior, you know, just if you're not that handy on framing and anything like that, you know, watch videos. Take your time and do things, but keep it simple. Make this is like for this, if you're going to make this for camping, just have a camp stove, have a dry up sink, and then like a little you know one of those um, ladders and you just print your hand use gravity you know you don't need a fancy dancy you know pump and all this stuff unless you really know how to fix it go for it even better and, you know if you want to put a TV in here great I, I'll probably put a TV in here keep me anything why not um, let's go with nine stealth everyone likes this I see people in their vans they're stealth camping. This is great. I mean, this looks like a storage unit. Just driving by and someone just put it on the side of the road. I see those all the time. No one knows you're living there. You can now get as stealthy as you want. Number 10. This is the one I switched to 7. This is a multi-purpose. When I bought this thing, I saw it could be a work trailer, camping trailer. What was my third one? And storage. I mentioned that. I had three purposes for it. If you buy anything, a car, truck, a trailer, 
have at least three purposes to buy it, then you'll keep that thing forever. You'll have no reasons to sell unless you really need cash. Um, and then the resale of these things are great too, because you're fixing it and somebody like, oh, that's great. I don't want that. I mean, yeah, I paid sixteen hundred for it, and I could probably sell it for three thousand if I want it. I can use this as a failure rig because of these doors that pop on the side. There's, and I can design it into like have it all designed into a fairy rig and sell it for you know seven thousand. That's you know if I really want to go that route. That was the nice thing about it. And the storage that is great. I've mentioned that before. You can if if you one for two months, you got to go to Alaska for work or something, and you're in Nevada and you got your trailer, but can't take everything with you you just leave it somewhere you know get permission from the landowner and you make an agreement it might be cheaper than getting a storage unit but always find that multi-purpose to it this could be a camper it could be a my emergency vehicle or it could be my prepper out vehicle but anyways let me show you the plans of what I'm going to design this to be um, excuse for the, the the shakiness of the camera So as you can tell, I have this, oh, first I'll let this say, this was a platform, there was a board here, I cut it out with a hacksaw, and I cut right here, but I wanted to walk in here, I just wanted to get up here and walk through, you know, just walk through, and get all the way, I got stuff right here, but that's why I'm not going to walk through here, and I decided to cut it through so I can get in here. Right here, I actually slept in this last summer in Utah and it rained super tight um, but uh, I, you know I, it was warm in here I had insulation in here if it did get hot I just opened those two That's doors perfect and I did have some shade but I'll put this will be my sleeping area over here I have a dry sink somewhere and my stove so I can access I can do it on the other side if I really wanted to I can access the outside or I can be in here cooking or sitting there and cook and do whatever, you know. Or if I have family or friends out here and they're, you're like, oh, what's going cooking, you know. And you come here and you hand it to them, here you go, you know. And the other thing, if you really want to use this and you're on the side of the street and you're like, man, I need to make some money. Well, let's start selling food. <laughs> Close these doors and there you go. You can do that option too. It's so many options with it multi-purpose um, storage down below this is probably gonna be a sitting here I'm thinking of putting a little chest box I'm probably create one myself and I'll probably slide it in with wheels so I can sit on it and I can put it here and I can sit here and take my shoes off take my coat off and I'll put a rack here so oh, maybe a table I probably don't I have this here to write on um, and then a trash can underneath here I have a closet there I have the doors here on the sides which is awesome and then um yeah i mean that's basically it in the inside so oh i hit my head excuse me so they have as you can tell i have six entry points and then the back phone doors i love these pop-up doors the other side does it too there's a side door right here which is great boop, boop. But um, on the top, I'm going to probably add, there's something called the road shower. And it's like 300 bucks, 400, 500, depends on what length you get. But it's, it's not a pipe, not a PVC pipe, it's metal. It looks pretty nice. I was thinking about buying it, but why not I just make it? Go to Home Depot, get something like this. It's, I've seen people with the same black PVC pipe, black and everything, longer, this is short. I can probably use this for something, but, um, you know, and have a hose on the end, and I'll put it on my racks right there, and I'll save a couple hundred bucks, maybe spend 75 bucks, 80 bucks on just in materials on making that shower, and I'll probably have a shade out, um, maybe those army shade outs, or something I can cover myself, or hang something here, just right here to here, and I can take a shower and just go, koozie, koozie, shoo. Rubby dubby dubby 
Dougie Dougie, you know. But um, it's what it is, and have a shade. So my buddy, yeah, I didn't, I I saw this before, but my buddy mentioned in one of his videos, Barry Extreme Budget, he was mentioning how people would have shade up here to keep the cool and have some space, and then shade out here like an awning to keep most of your, you know, because if you're out in the desert, there's no trees around, so you create your own shade, keep your inside of your trailer cooler. So that's a great idea. And then back over here, I want to show you this. This is the one thing I really liked about this trailer. Here's the, the pipe I was talking to you about. Came with the trailer. Slide it right through this whole pipe. So if you need to move it real quick, not too far, get another person to help you. And you lift up. Oh, I need another person to help me. And I need another hand. And you can move it, back it out. Pretty light. That's the great thing about that. And over here, I had to get that foam stuff because I had a leak gun in there. But you know, this is the, the entry point. I'll probably, I have a put added a closet here, but I got my spare there, some wiring that they put in with some speakers. I took the speakers out, but anyways, I'll put my um, battery back right here, battery bank, battery bank right here. Um, I'll probably not have a big one. I don't really need it. And I'm debating on, a, you know, getting a solar pa panel system. But you know, that's my trailer and that's my top reasons why I decided to go with a cargo trailer. If you guys didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. I'm just kidding. I would appreciate a thumbs up. And please subscribe and I appreciate it. Thanks guys, have a good day.